Uh, hey guys, this is Ritsu and uh, I've been wanting to do a stylized portrait from a reference for a while. So here we go! Um, I first did like a quick outline to know where to place everything, but I didn't want to uh, get too close to the reference. I did want it to have my own style to it, a more stylized approach, and so I that is what I did. Um, I also had some trouble because uh, her eyes covered and I wanted to avoid uh, drawing both of them, <laughs> being lazy, uh, and it kind of ended up uh, biting me later on um, because uh, I did not uh, make the proportions of the face right because of that. So yeah, lesson learned, always rub both eyes even if one is car co um, covered, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah. I also had lots of trouble with proportions of her head because I didn't want it to be a little bit bigger to keep it stylized, but I also ended up feeling like it was too big most of the time, and so I kept resizing that, I suppose. I also tried out uh, a new painting technique, uh, which is basically sculpting like with color, sculpting her features with color, but I ended up deciding against that, as you can see in a few. Uh, mainly because I felt like I couldn't control colors as well as I uh, usually do, which I don't like. Um, and also it didn't feel as intuitive and natural as it does when I use um, painting with outlines and then just blending those in. But it can be a really cool technique for anyone that, that wants to try it, especially when drawing from reference. Um, <laughs> I feel like it can be a really cool practice especially to um, ensure that you show the right depth to every feature. So yeah, as you can see, I just started over um, and darkened the, the skin color basically because I, want to, I wanted to paint from a mid-tone, which I find it to be a really cool technique lately. Um, I like to, I tried drawing from like shadows and adding lights because I do feel like adding lights is easier than adding shadows. However, um, it does um, fall you. I, it does. Um, it is kind of uh, complicated to keep the right contrast. Then, at least for me, I found that it's a lot easier to start from mid tone, add the lights, uh, and then add the shadows in the end to avoid um, things looking um, disproportionately contrasted. I suppose. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is what I've been doing lately, and I I found that it works pretty well for me. I had tons of trouble with feeling like the face was too flat, um, so uh, you'll see even later on I kept fixing that, I tried adding bounce light uh, from the background, like the bluish bounce light, I tried uh, highlights on the right side, um, adding more depth to the cheeks, but it was, for some reason I just couldn't really get it right and I do think like um, light that doesn't come directly um, from in front of the character is kind of a my weakness still and I still have yet to learn how to portray that better. Which is uh, also why I think the character ended up looking slightly strange with heads not quite matching the body. But all in all it was a great practice and I'm, uh, I'm happy I did that. I also wanted her eye to squint a little bit more because I felt it was too open and it didn't fit her expression. I ended up changing the background to bluish colors uh, to contrast the reddish tones and orange tones and added some more bounce light on the shoulders. One thing I also noticed from the reference was that the figure was not equally lit on the top as it was on the bottom, so I ended up darkening her face a little bit, ensuring uh, that the light hits the proper places. I also ended up moving nose a bit uh, to the right or left. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
um, because I I felt like it was it didn't feel like she was looking uh, towards us, but instead to the to, to the right. So I had to fix that. I added some edges to her uh, shirt so you could see the depth of it, like even if it's super thin, I still think um, some depth of it is in order, like you can see it does um, exist in space and not a 2D um, space. <laughs> I'm making so much sense, I swear to god I can't talk today. <laughs> um, anyway, I ended up rendering the rest a bit more, like the fingers. Uh, and her torso. Still darkening the parts I thought were too light and uh, I ended up uh, resizing her head a bit more, making it smaller. Adding an edge to the, uh, to the shirt and some more highlights on the face to make it pop. I really like the highlights um, next to the nose, I really think like um, it adds the depth to the nose, like it makes it look like it actually sticks from her face. Uh, I also realized her lips should be more open for the smoke to be coming out, uh, so that's what I did. Uh, as you can see I kept the eye um, quite a bit bigger than the one in the reference, that was due to me wanting to keep it uh, stylized. added some more sh um, shadows so that the hair um, wasn't, didn't seem uh, floating in the space, strangely. Um, so, and the smoke was quite a challenge because I've never actually done that, or at least uh, I didn't in the longest while. But it was really interesting playing around with shapes and setting the way it uh, moves, the way it floats, uh, like the way it, it creates those kind of twiggles in the air and then still blending it somewhat into the atmosphere. I added some extra hair, straight hair, um, so it, it didn't look as perfect in the end. And then just did some more finishing touches like uh, freckles, because I love drawing freckles. Uh, it might be good because I have them myself and I kind of got used to them. But yeah, I thought it fit her real well since she also was a ginger and yeah. Um, I ended up giving some greenish tones to the background, like darkening it so it wasn't as flat. Um, and yeah, I believe that we are close to the end now, just signing and adding, and adding some finishing touches in Photoshop. I ended up making the orangish tones slightly more coral um, orange, or coral, coral red I suppose. Um, and then just sharpen the whole thing a little bit and I believe this is it uh, <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching guys. I hope this made any sense at all and if you have any questions or suggestions uh, Please leave them in the comments. I would be very happy to read that or answer anything. Thank you. Bye